Let's get right to it with our panel this Thursday afternoon. Joining me here in New York is Crystal Ball, an MSNBC contributor and Democratic strategist, along with Liliana Gill, Hispanic market expert, young global leader at the World Economic Forum and co-founder of XL Alliance and a first-time appearance on this broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Chris, I want to start with you. And that photograph of Governor Brewer pointing her finger at the president. Now, in the book, she says that the president condescended to her, insulted her, lectured her. What do you make of this incident? Well, I make of it that it was very politically smart for Jan Brewer since she has thrown her lot in with the most extreme elements of the Tea Party in deciding to support the extreme immigration bill in Arizona, SB 1070. And her entire book seems to be based around uh, sort of giving it to the president. So this is another instance of her trying to appear tough, but it's really a very cynical, political and disrespectful move. And we need to remember that Sarah Palin wrote the foreword to the book, which is rather impressive. Lillian, um, since the finger pointing image got out and, and was shared around the world, uh, Miss Brewer's book sales have gone up 150,000% in less than 24 hours. What do you make of that? Well, I would love to know what the base is to calculate that percentage <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> and we were just talking about that. And, and also, it's quite interesting, too. It's a, it's a time of political turmoil where people are curious about different positions. And, and unfortunately, for that primary that is going on in Florida, she is carrying that Republican flag that is now putting this cloud over the Republicans as they're trying to win over a very important base, which includes a lot of Latinos who care about the immigration issue, which we know where she stands. Yeah, yeah of it, course. And if I could just underscore that, Please. there's a lot of attention pay, played to sort of western swing states like Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado. Those are all very important in terms of the Latino vote, but also places like Virginia and North Carolina, and certainly in Florida. But there's been a huge growth of Latino populations there, and even people like Jeb Bush are coming out and telling the Republican candidates, you've got to tone it down because you're hurting our party, not just for 2012, but lasting damage down the road. So for people like Jan Brewer, I mean, it was probably not the greatest moment for the president, sort of uncomfortable, sure. you know, not what you expect when you get off the airplane. But she is cementing that image of the Republican Party that plays right into the Democratic Party strategy for this year and beyond. Did you not think, Lillian, that it was disrespectful? I mean, is that really how we're supposed to behave towards the President of the United States, whether you like him or not? Correct. I mean, unfortunately, the, the power of, of social media, the quickness of the Internet also gets these things out so quickly. It puts a magnifying glass over anything. I mean, we don't know the exact context of that moment. But the facial, the, the hand just, just leads you to wonder but, what and, that moment really was. Exactly. We are now talking about it and putting a dent into her, the party, at a very important time that should matter for important Sure. Days. And you don't really have to know exactly what she was said there because she said such ugly things about the president and written such ugly things about the president in Previously. Her book. And so, therefore, that, that's the case. Just a final question uh, to you, Crystal. What did you think of Newt? Uh, going into attack mode on Mitt Romney's wealth. I mean, I thought it was the Democrats who were guilty of class warfare. <laughs> and here's, here's, you know, Newt hammering Mitt Romney for his money, for his Swiss bank accounts, for his Cayman offshore accounts. No one is better at attack politics than Newt Gingrich. And I have to think that the president is just sitting back and smiling because it, it, the messenger matters. And the fact of the matter is, if the Democrats, if the president tries this line of attack, they will be caricatured as class warfare. But because it's coming from a Republican, and not just Newt Gingrich, it's coming from from other Republicans as well, it makes it all the more damaging and helps people understand that there's a difference between capitalism, which we all support, and the sort of uh, the sort of taking and extraction that Mitt Romney and his type have been doing in this country. Crystal Ball and Liliana Gill, thanks so much for joining us. Your first time. I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Thank <at> you. All. <laughs>